it is not necessarily open season for hackers when it comes to social media. But some powerhouse companies have been hit recently, including LinkedIn, Twitter, and most recently, Facebook. Sean Caleb's joining us live here, and this is a serious situation here. Yeah, really, and if you think about it, there are really two items at stake right now. One, money. The two, the online site's credibility. In simple terms, it is extremely hard to recover any monetary losses, but the loss of credibility could be even greater to replace. The shady world of internet hackers have hit again. Late last week, Facebook said it had been victimized by a sophisticated attack designed to disrupt or gain access to data from the social media powerhouse. In a statement, Facebook said, as part of our ongoing investigation, we are working continuously and closely with our own internal engineer teams, with security teams at other companies, and with law enforcement authorities to learn everything we can about the attack and how to prevent similar incidents in the future. Anytime you have an incident like this, it's just going to help shatter public confidence in social networks. Sam Hamada points out that there is the public side to Facebook, then there is a parallel entity, a consumer website. That side of Facebook is for developers of games, dating sites, and so on. For Facebook as a business, Hamada says the hacking could not have come at a worse time for the company. In its recent earnings announcements, Facebook has touted Facebook gifting, right? You can essentially click a button and buy a gift for a friend that has a birthday, or Facebook Commerce, and that requires Facebook storing your credit card. Facebook says it has found no evidence that user data was compromised. There is no question hackers are becoming more sophisticated. Today, giving the fast food giant Burger King a whopper of an embarrassment. BK's site with 89,000 followers was made to look like McDonald's, saying Burger King had been sold. It's all a fabrication. The real danger is that hacking cost companies loads of money from the cleanup and investigation and beyond. If businesses are subject to hacking that jeopardizes credit card security, banks could shut down the ability to process credit cards, and that in turn could effectively put a company out of business. Hackers and companies have been playing a high-stakes game of cat and mouse for years, and there's no end in sight. But from a consumer standpoint, often a hacker's trail can lead to places such as the Ukraine, Nigeria, or Botswana. Now, if that's the case, the chances of ever recovering economic loss, Phil, almost non-existent. Um, money aside, obviously, with something like McDonald's and Burger King, there are plenty of jokes. But when it's your own personal identity being stolen, whether it's on Facebook or LinkedIn, that's a very serious matter. I mean, that really can involve money, not from the company, but your own personal money. Is there anything that's being done about this? Oh, without question. There's, there, there was a lot being done from the internal investigations. The FBI is now reportedly investigating what's going on in Facebook. But when you think about the hacking that's gone on, you name those both Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. What goes out on Twitter is very public. They make that up front. LinkedIn, very public. It's your resume. It's you want to share that. But when it comes to Facebook, that's private information, not just your photos and things that yeah. you want to keep. But if you do do what the company wants and are more active in, in, in buying uh, items, using a credit card, getting it on Facebook, then that becomes suspect. Then this becomes a much bigger yeah, I mean, issue. Look, that's the greatest fear that we all have, I think, when we're doing this, is when you put your credit card, whether it's through an eBay or through sure. another service, and someone steals your identity, they steal your birthday, they have all your personal information, they can essentially be you and go borrow money and never pay it back. Yeah, and that, that's the real concern. And are companies, are online companies feeling it now, and are they going to feel it in the future? Well, in talking to experts today, if they're not feeling it now, they very well could in the near future. There are so many companies uh, out there right now, and so many have been hacked, and hackers are getting, uh, they're so clever, so deviantly clever at what they do. And all it's going to take is one big case, and you could see, like, much of this collapse like a house of cards. I, I hope they fail. Sean, thank you very much.